Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Geekcaster. I am Seven. Today we have Charles, and we got a special guest, Drew and Ali. How are you guys doing today? Yo. Oh, I got to get my old sign on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you guys have been... Well, Drew used to be a part of Geekcaster when it was what? The... It was under the, uh, the moniker of Sonic Eclectic. Yeah. And... Oh, Eclectica. The other Eclectica. There we go. That's the one. Eclectica. That and was the primary. Why do I remember that one? Yeah. Since then, you decided you to jump into the graphic novel game. What's going on? Um. Yeah. As it turns out, uh, when it comes to the writing thing, I've been into it since I was a kid. But uh, a few years back now, mm -hmm. uh, the homie to my immediate bottom left, I guess, Ali. He, uh, <laughs> No, this dude since we were like eight and nine, and he hit me up, and uh, that's how we kind of found ourselves in our situation that we're in today. Wow, nice. that's awesome! So tell us, tell us about the graphic. What's the name of the graphic novel, and what's the premise? Ali, you want to open it? Yep. The uh, name of the graphic novel is Loa. Um, it's uh, urban fantasy. <laughs> it's uh, it has crime elements, it has action elements, supernatural. Uh, even some horror bits in it, you know, um, adventure, you know, um, yeah, it's, uh, based in voodoo, voodoo, and, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, I like, I like how you just glossed over that. It's based in, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's based in, you know. It has a thing. It has a thing. Give away too much, you know? <laughs> we want to be open, but we kind of were keeping, uh, you know, things to the chest. Spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, because there's tons of stuff that we got we want to put in this book. So, uh, totally. yeah, we keep, keep them a little cagey, a little cagey today. Now, is the Six. book completed? The first chapter is, yes. Okay, wow. nice. How many how many pages do you guys have completed for the first chapter? Uh, it would be around sixty four. Nice. Yeah, nice. it started at a, at an even thirty, but um, then working the madness that we did, and it's like all these by the by. Oh, let's add this, and ended up rounding up to yeah. about sixty or so. So uh, and you guys, um, as far as the uh, the first chapter here, it's out. It's printed already. Um, no, it's uh, it will be getting printed very soon. But you can actually print the first chapter because you guys are printing probably flats of eight. That's how they normally do it. No, 32, 64, whatever. Yeah, so you guys are good. Yeah, yeah. Set. All set. Yeah, I'm going to put up uh, the first picture. Um, right. Now, this is, it's purple outlay, and then you have all these characters. They look like they're over the city. Now, what does this right. represent right. here? Okay, so I guess I can take this one. Uh, just to give like a really brief kind of uh, tease as to the plot, Loa, mm -hmm. as uh, Ali said, it's a supernatural urban fantasy type of thing. It has elements of all these different things. When people ask us to define or describe it, it's difficult because it's taking so much and it's pretty much just this aggregation of everything that we grew up and loved on as black nerds, like growing up in LA. It has a lot of the aesthetic, it has the setting, it has just the vibe, and it's mixed with all this really, you know, fly action semi shonen fantasy horror stuff in it but uh our first chapter follows uh what our first primary character uh osric osric irons mm -hmm. uh people call him oz he's a bouncer martial artist uh just all around normal dude living in perdido with his girlfriend penny now and, is that the um, one with the locks or that's the one with the tracksuit uh actually oz is the big the big brolic dude with the tracksuit track he's got yeah. the spear okay. right uh, he lives in Perdido Angeles with his girlfriend Penny. Uh, he works as a bouncer, and you we begin it even enough. It just starts off as a typical day for him, but as you progress through the chapter, you notice that uh, there's oddities that exist within Perdido, the city itself. It's not quite normal, and that comes to a head uh, later on when we see that Oz gets into a fight with what's called a loa, a petwa loa, and he gets looped into this war between two... Um, debating families, the Rada and the Petuo. And uh, the reason for this being is because he and his brother Lear, who we introduce later, they're both uh, demigods. They're the son of the uh, Yoruba Ogun. He's the war and smith god. And from there, uh, the stuff gets active. They're, they're brought into this war, and it's the old gods versus the new gods, and there's the debate of 
action versus stepping aside and letting the young ones kind of do their thing. And it gets into this whole mind trip that uh, involves the mob and all those other supernatural forces that we will build upon in the series. Nice, nice, nice. Sounds good. Now, when you decided to use uh, Voodoo, is correct, right? Voodoo. 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 Uh, Voodoo. Using, adding that part of it, what kind of research did you have to do to incorporate that? Or did you use a lot of, like, like how much of that cultural, religious aspect did you put in versus just your own creativity? I'll you take that one first, because I'm going to get all, I'm going to get all emotional. <laughs> Go. Uh, first and foremost, we put in tons of research and even now continue to do so. But um, it, it stays true to a lot of things. You know, we have a lot of, uh, of our own, you know, twists and spins on it. But uh, it stays true to a lot. We want to keep the integrity of a lot of the Lord, you know, and uh, religion. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just it was just a whole bunch of research, man. It, it was it, it was crazy. It, it, a lot of reading, yeah. a lot of internet searching. It's ongoing, mind you. Yeah, love, now take it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for what Ali just said. That very calm, collected opening. This crap was nuts, dude. I sat down. I'm thinking, okay, there has to be like a history book or something that I can read. I look all online. Loa, just like as a concept in and of itself, as you, I don't really call it a religion. It's like a set of just spiritual beliefs. Mm -hmm. It's so dense and it hails through so many different parts and regions of the world. There's yeah, Vodou as it is in Haiti, there's Vodou in New Orleans, there's even like stuff that you find out here in California. Yeah, yeah. I found out from my investigations, it's nuts. So it's just reading and researching looking up videos, reading books. I'd take several trips to the library over here just to find out specifics about like what region of the world it would come from. Mm -hmm. It was a trip, man. Super fun, and it's still it's still going. So we wanted to incorporate that a lot into the uh, lore, fix things as we could, like make it so that it would fit our world and our mold. But as we find it, it's weird how like the pieces just kind of come together and the real life stuff that's attached to Bodu as a concept, as a religion, it just will find its way to just fit itself right into what we're making with Loa. So, so far, so good. Tiring, but fun. That's that's the process, man. Yep, you're not yep. getting tired, you're not doing it right. You gotta... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's a picture with a gentleman with a purple shirt. What 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 is that in the, um, in the graphic novel? You looking at, at Oz in his pink shirt? Probably Oz it looks per it looks purple to you. That's interesting. Um, that is, I believe, the courtyard fight because I can't see what you see. Okay. Um, but that, yeah, yeah. There's a reason as to why Oz is being attacked by the guys. It's not just some oh by the by, Oz can fight. There's uh some 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 history to that as to why there's a bunch of brickheads in the city that are trying to uh, hit him up. And there's a cem uh, no, it's not a cemetery. Uh, yeah, it's a cemetery. It's a it is cemetery. a cemetery. Yes, yeah, it seems like it's yes, snowing. It I really like the art. Who who did the artwork on? Mikhail Sebastian. Say it again. Mikhail Sebastian. Mikhail Sebastian. He did a really good job. I really get the feel of the the depth. You get a little bouquet in there as a photographer. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, how'd you find him and get him involved? Um, through Facebook. Honestly, it was a uh, social media. You know, found him uh, through mutual uh, contacts, you know, other artists we know and uh, that we have worked with in the past. And, uh, yeah, talk to him, and yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> yeah. Dude's a beast, man. Uh, at Metallica, at uh, IG, for all you social media savvy folks out there, that's where you can find him. He's a great artist. Dude cranks him out, like, daily. Yeah. So you're always going to be laced with fresh new artwork. Uh, he's, a, he's a beast, man. Definitely appreciate the work they put on this book, and it, it shows. Trust me. Now, Charles. Yes. Being someone that owns a comic book company and the work that goes into it. Uh, right. What kind of uh, questions or um, advice that you can give, you know, um, entering into the graphic novel world since you. You've Let's go, Sensei this. Vegan. What nah. you got for us? Nah, um, definitely you want to get with people that you can work work good with because it's it just makes everything come together when you got a lot of confusion coming from the writers and the artists 
And you probably, you, I don't know if you went through that where, you know, the writers are thinking one thing and the artist is doing something completely different right. or you're not getting your, your artwork on time and stuff like that. That can, <laughs> can definitely... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Drew kind of cringed when you said that. <laughs> no, so, no, no, that wasn't a So you experienced this. Because, so, making this one chapter, making this one chapter of Loa took us, how long, like a, a year? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't change, man, and it wasn't because people were moving slower than like that, but it was just there's this the back and forth between me and him. There's the back and forth between Mikel. Yeah. There's just there's we get something, it's like, okay, we wanted to switch that around a little bit to make it look more like this. Here's a reference pick. It's it's a process, you know, and it's yeah. ongoing and it can be it can be crazy. So yeah. it's totally that wasn't a cringe, that was a oh yeah, I'm familiar. <laughs> One, one other thing that I noticed is you always want to put your best work forward, yeah. but you have to get to a point where, okay, it's enough, it's good enough for now, right. and we'll make it, make the next one even better. Because if you keep going back and forth, you'll never get anything done. Because yeah, everyone absolutely. wants to put out their best work. Yeah. You can't, if you read, oh, we can change this, or we can change that, right. it's like, all right, guys, we good, we good. Whatever we didn't like on this one, we'll fix it on the next one. It's yeah, it's the portrayal of work yeah. is never finished. It's just new, which is totally 100% fact. Yeah. So, absolutely, man. Definitely get on a circuit. You know, you might want to crank out a couple shows. Don't overdo it. Yeah. yeah. They're not, yeah. not cheap anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Was there you anything know. that you guys experienced for people that are watching this right now? on cable TV. That's right, we were on cable TV, on channel, all the information's on the website. Um, but of course, this is also a live stream. What did you guys experience that you say, hey, you know what, if you want to do this, watch out for this. Or hey, if you guys are inspired, it's not a bed of roses. Like, what would you, what would you share to your fans? Um, it's a definite growth process you know like absolutely uh, this it's we, we we started somewhere and where we ended up like when we look back at that point we were like we were happy with the growth the evolution there you know what i mean like uh um what he had just said uh where you know you don't want to change too much you don't want to fix too much you don't want to edit too much we 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 got to a point where it was like you know what this is a really good product that we're really happy with let's go ahead and push it out and it honestly took a hell of an effort between both of us there was a lot of understanding it was a mutual vision there you know what i mean and and we got exactly what we wanted from it and happy about it <laughs> very yeah yeah to add fuel to that one um the whole process in and of itself has just been already at chapter one just a mind bending experience. <laughs> like it's, it's, as no, it's forced me just as like a writer, as just a creative, as just an individual. Um, be dedicated, you know. It's yeah. not going to be easy. It's they're going to have you're going to have bad days. You know, you're going to be months where you're just not into it, where you just don't know if you can even press on. Right. But the end result, if you're passionate about it, if you're really into it, you know, and you believe in it, like this guy, I've known him since we were kids. We were waking up on Saturday mornings watching cartoons and stuff at his house. So there's definitely the idea that you can have someone that has a shared vision. Right. You know, um, a lot of it is dedication. You know, if you're going to sit down and write something, make sure that you actually care about it and that you're not just following what's popular, yeah. or what's cool. Because there was there's been so many instances where it's like, well, we could use this because that's in right now. But it's like, is that really us? Does that fit for what we're trying to do? Is are we just saying that because we saw it right now and we thought it looks cool, right. and in two weeks we'll be like, oh, that was a that was a whack idea. Care about what you're doing, you know. Put the time in. It's not going to be easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Mm -hmm. So just overall, man, it's been amazing. It's it's been a blast. I can't. This is just a start. I'm talking about like we're finished. We're just beginning. Right. So I was going to ask like, you that. Was there any? Obviously, diversity is very. You know, it's one of those popular pop words they keep throwing out there. Um, and people being represented in different um, creative works. Was there mm -hmm. any pressure to have your characters be diverse? And was there any pressure having like female strong leads? Uh, no pressure. Wasn't okay. any pressure. Happy to from do that. Pressure from who? Um, 
No, and our thing is, I think, Ali, you can co-sign with me on this one. We say that Loa definitely does feature an uncommon cast of characters. Okay. And they're not just shoehorned in to fit any specific mold. There was no one in our ear telling us, you know, hey, you should have a transgender character. You should have a gay character. You should have this. It's when it, it, I'm saying it for one, there will be characters that do fit certain, you know, categories of person. Mm. Mm. But it won't be fake. It won't be disingenuous. It won't be just because we're doing a checkbox for each one. There'll be characters that we care about <laughs> and we're there for a specific reason. Right. So, yeah. Do you um did you now that you guys completed chapter one, do you have a new respect for comics and graphic novels that you didn't before? Uh, absolutely. You know, I, yeah, I think reason being is like once you're <laughs> Once you're in the trenches, and that's what I call it, that's what it's like when you're making that stuff. And you go to a comic book store now, and you're like, okay, now I understand. I mean, how do you mean? Give me your take on that. Absolutely. From this end, man, every, <laughs> as far as it goes, when I read a comic now, I literally stop, count every panel, memorize low key how like the layout is, and be like, okay, that I like, that I think is crap. <laughs> That it's like it makes you it takes your 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 ingesting of a comic to a whole new level. You mm -hmm. take in every nuance, how like the edges of edges of like the panel look, the use of color, the certain like body movements, the articulation, all that stuff. It's it's definitely it stays with you. So totally newfound appreciation for it. Does it ruin it? No, it makes it better. Because I know for a while for me. I had to really separate myself when I'm watching films. And like TV mm. production, yeah. But when you're mm. producing stuff, now I'm thinking, well, how much did that cost and that effect? And you know, you're looking at the angles, um, mm. especially if I'm not enjoying it a lot. Like if I'm enjoying it a lot, I, I think it's easier to just get mm. caught up into the story. Um, yeah, do you guys find that too? Well, not not with comics, no. Okay. Uh, not, not with not with manga, no. Yeah. it just I don't know. It's, Reading comics, there's always been kind of a cinematic quality to them for me. I try mm -hmm. to read them as I would watch a movie, if that makes any sense. Okay. Yeah. So, it's, I don't know. It's kind of just more the same. I appreciate it more for sure. Okay. But yeah, it hasn't really given any uh, negative connotation to that whatsoever. And again, you're young in this game. Like, you still got, you still got a lot Are of we? stories to tell. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like it, right? You've been doing it. <laughs> Man, uh, it's, it's yeah. We're 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 fresh at it. But wow. uh, it's definitely we have a base. We have a base, okay. we have a plan, and uh we cannot wait to convey it to everybody. Right. That's some right. stuff. Right. So what's right. next? What's the next move? So let wait, let's do like a really quick recap. Ali, you hit up Drew. Let's do this. Drew's, Drew, Drew gave the sign off and says, all right, we're going to do this. You started to throw around story ideas. You started to develop. You have this story. You got some creative artists to work on the project. You got That's some huge. content done. Now what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, next is the release date, right? Yeah. So hey, what is it? August Talk to me. August 23rd. August 23rd. Okay. Now, how are you guys? How's it going to drop? It's going to be a soft launch uh, on August 23rd. It's going to be just um, digital. The okay. physical copies come out uh, next month, September 29th. Um, yeah, so it's uh, just going to be a digital release to uh, exclusive people, you know, that uh, hit us up and we'll send out codes and you know, things like things of that nature. <laughs> How do you guys? That sounds good. Now, do you have a like a marketing team? Are you guys doing everything yourself? Um, You're looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he, that guy right there. He's <laughs> entire marketing plan. Um, it, it extends throughout. You know, the entirety of the series and. Um, yeah, I have my degree. I have my bachelor's in marketing and business okay. with a concentration in marketing. So um, I'm handling that. <laughs> right. uh, it'll be a lot of uh, merchandise and other things to go along with the release of the book. So we will have shirts. We'll have all the cute, all your cute gear. Yeah. All the merch. Yeah, all the merch. <laughs> all the merch. All the good Just stuff. Will be coming. 
Um, we're going to have replicas of the weapons uh, that uh, our characters have, eyes and leer and run. So, uh, wow. So you guys are spending some money. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I heard through that. <laughs> we're going to make this and we're going to make that. We're going to have that. Oh, money. Absolutely. We're, we're aiming for it, man. Yeah. You're going to aim, aim big. Yeah. Okay. So hard to go home, man. Yeah. <laughs> Now, okay, so before we go, what is, um, what's the website or the social media? Like, how do we become fans and follow this journey? Okay, you can follow us um, on Facebook, facebook.com slash Loa Graphic Novel, L-O-A Graphic Novel. Um, uh, Instagram, it's a uh, Loa Graphic Novel, you know, at Loa Graphic Novel, L-O-A Graphic Novel. Um, and right now, uh, we're working on the website. <laughs> uh, we will give you further details on that when you know when they come. That sounds good. That yep. sounds good. So, what's what's inspiring you guys right now? Are you still on the high from the very first day that you said, "Hey, let's let's work on something together"? I've gotten more excited since then <laughs> i have more <laughs> like i am like every day i get more and more excited that i'm doing this and that i'm uh i guess realizing you know a dream a childhood dream of mine you know to wow. publish you know author and, you know a comic book you know a book in general you know right and uh, yeah just uh, i guess yeah we're still coasting on that high but it's getting you know we're getting higher and higher <laughs> it gets yeah every day you wake up and you get like a fresh idea and then you text yeah. it to the homie and it's like man i can't wait to get we get to this part right. it's fun man it's daunting, right it's nerve-wracking but it's it's completely completely worth it completely worth it <laughs> cool all right folks so um let's see and we are still live again um lua Lua graphic novel, correct? Yep. On all social media. Um, Charles, anything you want to wrap up before we go? Um, no, I'm like I'm happy for the guys. Really am. Only thing that I can say, the only advice I'd give you for being in this game for as long as I have, is like a roller coaster ride. You're gonna have dips and valleys. Yeah. You might even roll off the tracks. But you guys, seriously, man, you just gotta keep going. Don't, don't. You guys already started. Don't even worry about the finish. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Don't even look for it. Just yeah. keep just keep that that energy and that power that you guys have right now. That is what you want. Your finished product will be your graphic novels, of course. But I'm talking just keep that energy what you guys have between you. Because there's going to be stuff that's going to try to come down and wedge you all apart. You understand? So keep yeah. that energy and keep moving forward, man. Don't even look for the finish line. Don't even worry about the finish line. Appreciate it. Make your schedule, get your stuff out. Make your schedule, get your stuff out. Yeah, that's it. All right, keep it moving. I'm actually looking for this right now in the search, and um, I want the audience to do this as well. Okay, so that way there's no excuse. Well, I couldn't find it. <laughs> couldn't find you guys' page. Where you at? <laughs> yeah, so it's L O A. Mm hmm. Now the world gets to see if, if I could spell or not. I'm good. <laughs> and then follow. There you go. So you saw what I did, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what the icon looks like. So it's super simple. And uh, there's something. Ooh, you didn't give me this picture. Which one? Oh, wow. It's like, it looks like the city. It looks like there was the um, city's almost all white. And there's a, a lady and then... I guess that was the the first sketch. That was uh, our early, one of our earlier pieces. Um, I'm pretty sure that's one of the the ones that we did with Crady. Is that Crady? I can't see what we oh, see, oh, so I'm pretty sure that's the one. Yeah. Like, there's uh, we couldn't give you all the all the, all the dope stuff. Oh, yeah, the good that's, that's crazy. That that should be in the book though. The finished product of that one should be in the book. Mm. Okay, and mm. then wow, the 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 lowest symbol is kind of crazy too. A little dark, Drew. Yeah. I didn't yeah. expect that from you, of course. I what do you want? Happy, <laughs> fluffy Hello Kitty stuff on the... Yeah! Oh, Not at all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it'll, it'll have some dark imagery to it. Um, if okay. we had to rate this, I don't... 
Al- Ali, what, what would this be? It wouldn't be a TVMA. It's not quite that extreme, but it definitely does have it's, some... Uh, it's TVMA, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, TVMA, all right, yeah, because we got the... the pretty, pretty, dips into some pretty murky, dark territory, especially yeah. when it comes to the characters and their backstories and stuff. Can, can you right. give us two? Two? Yeah, give, two give what? us two. Two backstories. No, man, that's why you uh, read the book. Okay, give us one, give us one, come on. <laughs> Uh, don't okay. do it, man. Stick to your uh, guns, man. Don't do it. Come on. Uh, I don't know if we should, man. No, yeah, no. <laughs> see, just give me the no. no. <laughs> Check out for the book. It'll be worth it. Trust me. Book, man. All right, so, all right, fans. So, pretty much, you got to wait. We tried to get it out of them. They, they, they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. So, we'll... Um, Tim, nerves are still, guys. Oh, nerves my goodness. Still. I thought I thought I had them for a second. It's the hardest thing I want to tell you, but I can't, <laughs> I can't man. I don't do it. No, but you know what? It's really awesome to support, and um, it's cool to see someone on the team that was involved and, and doing great things. And oh, Drew was like, "Yo, I really gotta, I gotta get this going. I gotta focus." So <laughs> it's good to see the fruit of your uh, your, your labor with this. So oh. all right, guys, go to the Instagram, like, support it, as well as check out the Facebook, and. Um, all the fans will get all the updates on those platforms, right? Instagram and Facebook. Yes. Do that and our uh, individual social media stuffage. Uh, Ali, where can they find you? Um, Ali Oku Art is A L I O K U Art. That's my Instagram, and um, you can also, you know, add me on Facebook, Ali Oku A L I O K U. You guys know me, Internet Surly is nerd blurred <laughs> <laughs> at Ota Drew. Ota at Ota underscore Drew on IG. Uh, you can find me there. I'm always posting, you know, immature stuff, uh, toys, me being productive at work, all that other stuff. And but, this uh, is yeah, how we fun. started the show. You see how yep. long his intro is? <laughs> King <Takes> of <laughs> Babylon. <laughs> <laughs> Knight <laughs> of Taiwan. <laughs> Governor <laughs> of fun. California. Of okay, I like that one. <laughs> all right thank you so much charles as always since a vegan and uh gonna get you up in the kitchen in the kitchen <laughs> oh man uh michael seven michael you can always find me at michael seven michael on ig and you're watching geek caster thank you so much guests thank you so much for watching all our cable information our live streams, everything you can go to sevnetwork.com. You can also go to geekcaster.com, take you to the same place. All the information. Again, you're watching Geekcaster. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy the journey. For old time's sake. <laughs> For old <Yeah>. time's sake. <laughs>